Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sunday. I'm just going to give you a little update what's coming up this week. If the mail is on time, I don't know what could slow the mail up. Is election day considered, I guess, is there mail on the election day? I guess there isn't. It's kind of like a day off for everybody, ain't it? I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah. And uh, when you vote, guys, you know, make sure whoever you vote for, you believe in who they are. And that uh, you really know what you're doing before you make that decision. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Good luck. Um, but please vote, yeah. Uh, like I said, a little quick update. Uh, first, let's talk about the shooting video. A few people, I think, were mis understood or they just don't listen to what I say or I probably forgot to say it because sometimes when you make a video you know you said it in a video but you probably edited it out so you, you didn't realize you edited it out when I was doing that shooting video uh, that was a sighted a sighting in video the optic was not sighted in yet so this idiot says Jesus Christ I could shoot like that at 250 yards. You know what, dude? I would love to see you shoot like that at 250 yards. You're going to tell me uh, you can get a group of... Uh, what, what, what he's saying is he could get a group of... Uh, let me see. 40 shots in a, in a 6 inch ring at 250 yards with no magnification. If you can do that, bro, with an AK, you're the man. I can't. But anyway, no, you know, it's just it's baby shit. What else? It's fucking YouTube. Same shit over and over again. But um, uh, it's a that's a joke, you know. But that video was a sighting in video. We were sighting in the TRS 25 on Bushnell. This here, and uh, at the if you notice at the end of the video, we got about uh, six shots, bullet right on top of bullet, touching each other. So what that means is this red dot is the real deal it can be sighted in and a red dot at 50 is if a red dot is hitting bullseye at 50 yards it's doing its job this type of red dot is for up close combat not shooting hundreds of yards away but you can do it if you know you can do it I do it with my EOTech uh, I've shot with my EOTech at 100 yards and put a nice little group like that you know depending on how your eyes are that day but that's what a red dot is. There's no magnification. There's just a dot. So um, that red dot works great. I think I put about uh, 100. And, I probably shot about 140 rounds that day. And after I don't know, after about 25 rounds, 30 rounds, or whatever, it was it was started getting dead on. I was just adjusting it with the screwdriver, little by little, taking nice slow shots. And I uh, finally got it zeroed in, and uh, it, it got zeroed in pretty quick compared to other rifles I've tried to zero in. Sometimes I go through like 50 or 60 rounds and before the damn thing's zeroed in. <clears throat> so the AK is ready to go. The iron sights are zeroed in. The red dot zeroed in. It's ready for action. It's ready to go to the range, or it's ready to be ready. It is ready. Uh, the Parabellum Armament Rail is awesome. I took it home. Took it apart to clean it. It just it was so easy. I, ha I had the uh, AK clean in like uh, like eight minutes. The whole gun was clean. So that's what's great about AKs. They're right. they are the Glock version of the rifle. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Did I say that right? You know what I mean? They're very easy to maintain. So that's the little thing. And another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is I shot the Tool Ammo and I shot the Golden Tiger. Uh, weird, uh, I shot better with the tool of ammo, I shot more accurate. Uh, when I got to the Golden Tiger, my group spread out. Now, I don't know if that's the ammo, or if that might be me shooting good, then shooting bad. I don't know, but all I know is this, the tool of ammo runs good. So, for the AK, the tool of ammo, I'll give it a thumbs up. No problem. Would I run it through my 1911s and my handguns? I prefer not to. I'd rather use premium ammunition in my handguns. I just think it's smarter. But if you don't have the money, uh, Glock will run, the Glock will run tool of ammo. 1911s, they're a little more fussier. I don't know, I never tried it. I'm not gonna say they will or they won't. I just use Remington UMC with them, or Federal, or, you know, Home Defense premium ammo with my 1911s, and they always run good. 
no problems with, with, with them at all. Uh, except for a couple of Kimbers I've had, they hiccup once in a while. Uh, as far as the 1911s goes, uh, the, my Colt Commander has just uh, been unbelievable. Perfectly reliable. Okay, moving down to the shotgun. I have the shotgun out because if everything comes on time, once again, this is what we're going to do. We are going to make this shotgun tactical. We might have to do some modifying too, depending on where the heat shield lands. Uh, this new ATI tactical system has a heat shield with iron sights built on top of it. Very, very cool. And it's for the Mossberg, not, it's for the Mossberg 590. The only thing is, this is a Mossberg 590 special purpose. When I bought it, I didn't even notice it said that. I just thought it was a 590 and I took it and I ran. Um, so we might have to do some modifying to make that work on here. But that's cool. That makes a cool video. If I don't use it, that means it just couldn't be done. So it, it depends where it's going to stop on this part of the rifle, uh, the heat shield. It depends where it's going to stop in this area because there's a ring here. And the heat shield that's coming, it'll have a sight up here and a sight up here. But I don't know how long it is, so we've got to see where it lands. If it's too long and it lands on top of this, I don't know. If it lands a little before this, I could probably use this spacer that's on here and cut, you know, cut that because it's just plastic and make it fit the new one. I don't know. i got to see the situation. I, I'm just guessing right now what might go wrong if it does go wrong. So we're, we're replacing the heat shield, which is this. This is coming off. Um, I went through this before, but a lot of people are PMing me, asking me what, what exactly am I doing to the shotgun, I'm telling you. Replacing this, replacing uh, you know, the foregrip, replacing that, we're replacing the butt stock. It's gonna be a collapsible butt stock. Uh, so it's, it's gonna look cool when it's done. And plus later there's, there's other stuff coming from ATI the, uh, that they're coming out with something really unique. I'm not allowed to say what it is, but it's 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 going to be something really cool. And when it comes out, you guys are going to see it here. So that would be pretty cool. So as soon as the box comes, we'll start the video, the shotgun, and we'll put one part on at a time, and each part will be a video. That's the best way to do it, especially the guys that are new new to firearms and like to, and are trying to learn how to put accessories on their firearms. Uh, one video at a time, one part at a time. It's just, it's just a better way to do it. I mean, that's how I learn easy, so that's how I'm going to do it in my videos. Anyway, and that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, make sure you vote.